like for chapter three pop up and we haven't talked about it in class, maybe just wait so we can talk about it because I'm going to go through each of them and say how to find these things um, and you know kind of what I would expect for um, an answer. You can save it um, for later, but you can't go back and rework problems. So if you did questions one and two, you can stop at that point and come back and finish three, four, five, but you can't go back and change questions one and two. The problem is if you do one and two and then three pops up, you have to finish three before you exit out of it, because otherwise when it comes back, it won't let you do three. So just be sure when you, if you do save it for later, that you've answered all of the questions that you've seen, and then you um, X out of it. Um, and not X out of it when there's a, an open question that hasn't been answered yet. So you get one out of attempt, oh, sorry, one attempt, um, there's four questions. So let's go through each of them and I'll talk about how to find these things. There's going to be a whole lot of numbers here, so don't put it in your calculator. You'll want to do it through um, the stat crunch. So if you click on this one, it'll bring up stat crunch, which is similar to our calculator. It does all the same things, um, but it's just easier to use theirs rather than trying to put it in your calculator. Okay, so we've got um, automobiles. Um, we've got um, sorry, dealerships. So there's 10,000 throughout the country. We're not going to look at all 10,000. We're going to look at a, um, a sample of 1,000, um, which is still a lot. So like I said, it's going to be too many numbers. Um, right. So we've got a value brand, a moderate brand, and a premium brand. Um, they're very interested in looking at the relationship between the median salary of potential customers and the company's revenue. Okay. Um, so if they say potential customer salaries don't increase, the company's revenues will remain stagnant, uh, which is what they don't want to have happen. So people aren't um, increasing their salaries. We're not going to be making um, more money. People aren't, aren't going to want to invest with them. So, they did a sample of 1,000 dealerships, and they found the me median salary of people living in the vicinity of those homes. So it says, which of the following most closely describes the method of data collection used? It's either going to be an observational study or a controlled experiment. Um, remember with this one, with a controlled experiment, that's where you set up an experiment and the person who's in charge assigns people randomly. So in this case, people are already living where they are. You can't really assign them randomly because they're already kind of set. So in this case, it can't be a randomized experiment like we want. It's just going to be an observational study because it's going to be after the fact. Um, there's no control over who gets placed. Okay. Um, so this one says, without making any graphs, what would you expect the shape of the distribution to be for the median salary? Um, so if you're looking at the median salary for all of these 1,000 places, they're going to have a little bit of variation, but what do you think it's going to look like? And this isn't going to be one where you have to get it right. You're just kind of anticipating what you think it's going to be. Um, so for number two, um, when you talk about the shape, you want to say um, two. Um, Obviously, it's not going to be you know, all of these things. Just pick um, you know, one, possibly two words to describe. And then why you think it's going to be. So do you think um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's going to be fairly equal across the board? If it's going to be um, skewed to the left, so in this case, your tail is to the left. So if it's skewed left, and we're going to talk more about this when we get to chapter three, um, that means most of our uh, people are going to be up here on the higher end, and then you're just going to have a few outliers that are a little bit lower here. So if that's the case, you have a few 
small outliers. So do you think most of the people are going to make a lot of money, and then you've got a few people who don't make much money? Um, or on the other hand, you <coughs> have something that's skewed to the right? This one would be skewed right because the tail is on the right. So in that case, most of our people are kind of on the lower end. They don't make much money, but then you have a few people who do make a lot of money. So there are a few large outliers. So um, without making any graphs, we're actually going through and doing the work. What do you think it's going to look like um, and, and why? I'm not looking for anything big. Um, one, maybe two sentences, that's it. Clearly not the right answer that I think it's uniform because everyone should make the same amount of money. I'm just typing in an example of what it would look like. So just be sure to use complete sentences. Um, don't abbreviate and put BC or anything like that. You're not writing a text. You're actually writing out a sentence. Yeah. Okay. 